Hey guys, Brent here from BrentMailPhotography.com. I'm going to show you what I've shot of my daughter and a friend with a little point and shoot camera and um, I wanted to capture movements. So I've changed the shutter speed from a very fast shutter speed, 1 500th of a second of them jumping off this rock. Um, so you can notice that 1 500th of a second the image is frozen in time and then I've basically doubled the time. So I've gone 1 250th of a second over here start seeing a little bit of movement then one 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 hundred and twenty fifth of a second over here and it's starting to get more movement then one sixtieth of a second and you'll notice um, them jumping off together there's a little bit of blurring in the background but they're still relatively sharp and then we go to one thirtieth of a second and it's uh, there's a lot of blurring and then one fifteenth of a second which looks pretty cool my daughter's blurred the background's blurred and it shows movement so that's what you can do with a little point and shoot camera while you're on holiday just play around with the shutter speed, put it onto time value or shutter priority value and change the uh, shutter speed, go from fast to slow or slow to fast. And these last couple of images, I actually had to apply something to this little point and shoot camera. It's called a neutral density filter. It's built into the camera. So because um, at uh, slow shutter speed, there's too much light coming into the camera and the image was overexposed. So I just applied this little ND filter in the settings menu and um, the images came out great. What do you think of this video? Please uh, leave me a thumbs up on YouTube or leave a comment below this video. Anyway, this is Brandon. Have a great day. Janine, look here. Okay, one, two, three, go.